All right, so now I'm going to show you this thing called effects. And basically, you can add effects to your video, to your graphics, and of course, to your photographs. Um, effects are not something I use a lot, but I do use them a few times in the show uh, as subtle background effects. Um, but there is a lot of possibilities. I just don't personally use them, but uh, I, I know that some of you may have an interest to do it. Um, I'm going to show you now. This is the um, logo as before, same exact file. Uh, if you go here under the display and geometry tab, which is where you're going to spend most of your time, right to the right hand side of it, it says video effects. We're going to click on that and you can see we can apply it or not apply it. And then we have a drop down of all different effects we can choose from. There's a lot of different things we can do because every effect has different subcategories and adjustments you can make. So it's you could be here a long time. <laughs> so if we just click the motion blur, you can see how that blurs that out right away. Um, now this is just an image, but of course you can manipulate this by adding angles and all the different sliders. Every effect is different. Um, the radius gets much bigger. Um, and then of course you have full control over this in your fade. So um, if you want to start it like that, that's your logo. You can then add a fade to that. And in your fade queue, instead of going in here into opacity, translation, scale, or rotation, you can go to the video effects tab, which is now available because your original file has video effects selected. Um, you can now bring down, uh, check which one of these you want to manipulate. And uh, you can choose the radius to come all the way down like that. And you can even bring this down too so it has some movement. And uh, I'll show you what that looks like as that starts like that. And then that will fade in like that. So basically, um, let's see, how can we do this? We could uh, bring the opacity down completely. And then on this one, we can go in here and bring the opacity up. So that's fading in as normal, except you've already have your, your uh, effects in the background. So it's going to fade in like this from a blurred image and then go to a clear image. So you can do that automatically in QLab. Uh, you can do it with large graphics as well. For example, there is times when I do not want this background, uh, but I still want a background very quickly. And I, I want to change it, but I want the color to be the same, or I want to change the color, let's say. You can go to Video Effects, and you can hit Apply Effects. You can go to Color Controls, and now you have controls over your brightness. You have controls over the contrast. And of course, you have hue controls as well. So if you want to change the color, also there's more options. If you go over to um, uh, the monochrome tab here, you can change that uh, into the monochrome. And then, of course, you have uh, colors as well. So you just changed your uh, background to purple or a nice blue or a teal or a bright red, which we already had. Um, you have full control over that. And of course, you could manipulate this with your with your faders as well, so it actually changes colors slowly, which would be kind of cool. Um, if you want to create a different image, you don't want a curtain at all, you can change this to Kaleidoscope, which I do use um, a lot for video when I need to blur out a background, but I still want to do it kind of cool. You can make it look like this. You can then change which the... Uh, way here to do it there you go so that has just drastically changed and of course you can still go to your geometry tab and you can do custom geometry and you can then um, zoom in or out uh, which gives you a completely different image than you just had a minute ago right so there's a lot of uh, possibilities with that as well uh, I want to show you just one of the simple effects that I've done is uh, I added a few cues to my QLab logo and uh, you can see it fades in like that, and now it, it rotates in a blurred image the entire time. Or you can do it just to fade in the image alone and nothing else, and it goes clear. So that's just using the graphics as effects. Um, once again, it's not something I use a lot. One of the most uh, popular versions that I use is when I have, let's say, uh, an iPhone filmed uh, routine. Uh, I'm going to use a, the only vertical video I have right now. But this is a video um, that was filmed for my iPhone. It's called The Day in the Life of Magician. And um, I'm going to go ahead and kill the volume there. But basically, 
if you want, you can copy this, okay? And then on the original file, you can go in here and add an effect, which is blur, the box blur. I'm going to apply that. I'm going to go ahead and do this. We're going to add that, uh, that blur, really blurred out like that, okay? Now I'm going to go to... Um, preserve aspect ratio. I'm going to zoom out like that. And what's going to happen is I'm going to now play that in the background and this one's going to be on top, which gives this kind of um, full screen look. You see this in the news a lot. They'll blur out the background and uh, full screen look. And if you don't want it widescreen, you then of course can change the custom geometry um, to whatever you want, which may fit it's slightly better. So now your graphic doesn't look so, uh, your screen doesn't look so dark. Everything kind of blends in what's happening. So I do use that uh, quite frequently if I ever have a vertical uh, filmed image just like this. And uh, it works out really well. Of course, you could change your video effects to something different like that um, zoom blur, which looks more like this, which kind of cool as well. Or we could go over to the kaleidoscope uh, and then it looks really funky. Uh, which may be a little bit too distracting, but it's kind of cool. And then uh, you have stuff like edge work, uh, which probably need to adjust the settings on there to actually see it with this particular video. Uh, then there's comic effect, um, which is right here, which looks like a comic book. So there's a lot of cool things you can do, uh, and I do use them in the background sometimes, but not really so much on my main effects. But I hope you get some use and now know what uh, video effects are in QLab.